Hey, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you how you can install CubeSource on your laptop and also on your USB stick and booting it from any laptop or PC. And if you don't know what Cubes is, check out the video here. I have given all the necessary links in the description. And with that all said, let's get started. First, let us see how we can install cubes on an USB stick and booting it from any laptop or PC. The minimum requirement to install it on a pen drive is you need to have two pen drives with 8GB of storage or more and other with 32GB of storage or more. So we need to have 64GB of pen drive because the 32GB pen drive comes with 29.8GB of storage and we need exactly 32GB or more to install cubes on a pen drive. First, we will flash the 8GB pen drive with the cubes ISO file and we will boot the system with this pen drive and then we will plug the second pen drive which is 64 GB and install cubes in it. Now let us see it practically. First you need to have a flashing tool. I am using Ether for flashing the pen drive. You can download it by using the first link. Next you need to download the cubes ISO file. I have already downloaded it and you can download it by using the second link. Next open Ether, click on select file and select the cubes ISO file and click on open and now plug in your pen drive. I am using a 32 GB pen drive so click on select target and select your pen drive and finally click on flash. This will flash your pen drive to the cubes ISO file. It will take 3 to 5 minutes. Once done it will automatically unmount the pen drive. Now turn off the laptop, plug in the pen drive and plug in the pen drive and press the power button and then quickly press the boot menu key. In my case I want to press and hold the option key to enter boot menu because I am doing it on MacBook and for Windows the boot menu key may be F11. Now choose your pen drive and press enter. This will boot the cubes on the system. Now select the language and click on continue. Now plug in the second pen drive which is 64 GB and click on installation destination and select the pen drive and click on done. This will ask you to set password to encrypt the pen drive. So enter a password and confirm it and then click on save passphrase. It is saying the pen drive doesn't have space so I will click on reclaim space. Here I will click on delete all and then click on reclaim space. This will format the pen drive. Now it's done. So click on begin installation to start installing cubes on the pen drive. Now the installation is started, meanwhile we need to create users, so let's go by enabling root user. So click on root password and uncheck the lock root password, set a password for root user and click on done. Now click on user creation to create normal users, specify a username, I'll give cubes as username and set a password for the user and click on done. Oh, it is saying the username is already used, so I'll include O with the username and then click on done. And now wait for installation to complete. Now click on reboot. Now remove the first pen drive and turn on the system. Press the boot menu key and you can see the cubes OS. Now select it and press enter. This will boot cubes on the system. Now it is asking to enter the passphrase which we have created when installing the cubes. Enter the password and press enter. Now click on the cube size and check the boxes if you want these options. I am leaving it to default and then click on done. Finally click on finish configuration. So we entered into the login window. Now type the password and click on login to login as normal user. This is how you can install cubes on a USB stick and boot it from any laptop or PC. Next let us see how we can install it on a PC or laptop. Shut down the laptop, plug in the bootable pen drive and turn on the PC and press the boot menu key. In my case it's F11. I am using a Windows laptop. Now press enter. Now select install cubes and press enter. Now just follow the same steps that I have shown before and here select the hard drive. Now continue with the steps I have shown before. Now click on reboot and remove the pen drive. From now on you can start the laptop normally so press the power button.
and enter the disk password now click on the cube service and check the boxes if you want these options i'm leaving it to default and then click on done finally click on finish configuration and login with your username and password this is how you can install cubes on your system so that's it for the video if you think the video is useful give it a like and thanks for watching i catch you in the next one